Hey guys, it's Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about the search command. So the entire series of Square One videos is targeted at people who are teaching themselves SketchUp or have taught themselves SketchUp, and it's, it's just intended to cover the basics. Uh, try to get you to know where tools are, how tools work, that sort of thing, terminology, all of that's part of square one. And this command, search, which is new to SketchUp Pro 2022, is a tool that fits right in with every concept that we have for square ones. Um, I could explain it or introduce it some more, but why don't we just go look at it? Let's hop in and talk about search. All right, so you're going to bring up search using this little icon right here. Uh, this, as far as I can tell, the only way to pull up search is to click this little, it's like a magnifying glass. It looks kind of like the zoom magnifying glass, except it has these little tiny uh, dots inside, like a little crosshair. This is the search icon. This is not in, it's not under tools or uh, draw or view. Or, so you do want to make sure you just Probably if you customize your toolbar, just go ahead and keep it here if you want to use it because uh, this is the best way to get to it. When you click search, a little floating uh, text box is going to show up. Now you can, if you click on the gray section, you can drag this little box wherever you want. So if I want to stick it right over here, I can put it there. Uh, as soon as you click outside of it, it will disappear. But next time you hit search, it'll pop up in the same location. So figure out where you think you want to put it as it as you use it and uh, just drop it there and it'll stick around in that spot. I'm going to bring it back down so you can see it real clearly. I'll just bring it down and, and, and put it like uh, right over here where, where it originally popped up. All right. So the cool thing about this command is if there's something that you, a command you want to use and you don't remember where it is, I, I want to use follow me, but I can't remember what menu it's in or where it's at. So I'm just going to start typing follow. Oh, and there we go. I got to F-O-L-L -L and follow me showed up. Now, it doesn't just tell you what it was you were looking at. It's actually a shortcut to the command. So if I click on this, I'm currently in follow me. Super cool. Nice way to do it. Um, the, the even better thing about this, <laughs> this is really nice, is I don't have to remember every single command and its name. It's actually got sort of a, a SketchUp thesaurus behind the scenes. So if I type a name that's not exactly right, it'll still, follow, it'll still find it. So I'm looking for follow me again, but I don't remember it's called follow me. I know it does these like path extrusion things. So I'm going to just type extrude and see what it comes up with. When I type that, it says, you could be thinking about follow me or push pull. So once again, boom, I'm in follow me without remembering what the actual name of the command was. This is awesome for things like, um, okay, I want to do something with uh, edges. So I'm going to type edge and it comes up with all kinds of things. Did you mean line where you want to draw a line? Um, did you mean flip edge and sandbox tool? Or wait, what's this? Selection toys. Selection Toys is an extension that I installed and search went through and actually added the commands from that extension into its thesaurus. So these select edge loops and edges are part of an extension I put in, not even a native command, and they show up here too. This is super helpful if you've ever installed an extension. You're, you, I mean, I, I've... I probably use too much, too many extensions and sometimes some, some versions of SketchUp I've had, I've had like near a hundred extensions installed and sometimes I don't remember what they're called. I'll just be totally honest with you. I do remember they do a certain thing. Um, so I'm trying to copy along a path or something like that. I could type in path and get the right command to show up. This is helpful. So not just for brand new users who are trying to figure out where commands are, how to use them. This is great for advanced users who have too much SketchUp to keep in their memory. Um, check it out, try it out. It is a great tool to use, especially as you're coming up to speed, you don't remember exactly what you're trying to use. It will help you jump to those commands quickly and find stuff even when you don't know exactly what it is you're looking for. So, 
check out Surge. I mean, it's, I know this is a short video, this is pretty simple, but I just had to, I mean, give a couple examples of how it works. And, and I think you can pretty quickly see the value that it will bring, especially if you're learning or relearning SketchUp. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Have you tried search? What do you think of it? Can you think of something else that would be good in a square one video? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.